guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. I'm so paranoid. My uh, my phone case got like really fried while I was on vacation. It like got destroyed and I need a new one. I don't have a new one yet. So I'm filming um, with my phone in the car mount without a case on it. And sometimes it falls out of the case. So I'm just like, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Uh, uh, the, it sometimes falls out of the car mount, sorry. So I'm just like, please don't fall, please don't fall. Because if it falls out, I don't have a case on it right now. So hopefully it doesn't fall out. Um, so somebody made a request. I mean, a lot of you guys have made this request, but like this is pretty funny. Someone made a request on Instagram DMs for me to do a review of Insecure, the show Insecure. Like they made this request like two, three weeks ago. I never saw it. When they made the request, I actually was on vacation. I was going through my, um, you know, held, my held DMs or whatever, and I saw it. And it just so happened to coincide with one of the main girls giving a radio interview. It keeps like tilting down. Giving a radio interview recently that I'm gonna get into in this video. So I was like, all right, universe saying it's time to finally make this insecure video. A lot of you guys have asked me why I don't do insecure reviews. I don't do any television reviews, do I? But I have done movie reviews, as you guys know, and um, albums and stuff like that and a lot of you guys have asked me why I haven't reviewed Insecure um, and the reason why I don't review Insecure is the same reason why I don't review Atlanta it's the same reason why I don't review Blackish it's the same reason why I don't review Grownish um, I don't like any of these shows <laughs> and one of the main reasons why I don't like any of these shows is because I don't like the dialogue and I don't like the writing and getting it insecure specifically i tried watching the first season i could never get into it i felt like there was something really off about it from jump and then when i found out that Issa ray is half senegalese and amanda seals as we all know her mother's from grenada and the other fucking girl lead on the show yvonne orgy is that how you pronounce her last name orgy okay and the other lead on the show, Avon Orji, is like straight up Nigerian. So after I found that out, I was like, okay, now I get what it is. The writing on that show and on a lot of these shows very much comes across as like this fake sort of caricature of what these people think black American culture is and how black Americans act. Because all the people on Insecure, these people are, they're all playing black Americans. Like they're all playing descendants, even though none of them are, you know? So it's just like, they're putting on this caricature of, again, black American identity, which I talked about in um, my last car video of how people sort of latch onto this idea of a black American identity as some type of like mainstream, you know black identity and it just always came across to me as very fake um i liked awkward black girl a lot more which was Issa's youtube show a lot of people for some reason don't know that Issa ray used to be on youtube she was on youtube for like seven years doing content before she got picked up by hbo um and awkward black girl was much more like authentic to her and it was just about her being fucking awkward because like she is fucking awkward like she's an awkward ass girl and now it seems like what she's doing with insecure and someone also said this to me in, on instagram dms and i'm gonna read you guys some comments so this car portion is gonna end and then i'm gonna come back and read you guys some comments somebody was like oh the whole dialogue and the writing and the situations and everything on insecure comes across as like the girls that were like not cool or were awkward whatever in middle school that you know they get to high school and they trying to like redo themselves redo their whole personality and become somebody else and like they're trying to like act cool and shit like that and that is exactly the same fucking vibe that I got from this show it's people putting on black American cool their idea of black American cool, their idea of black American culture, a caricature of us as descendants of American chattel slavery. They're putting it on like a coat because that's what's hot right now, that's what's popping right now, that's what makes a lot of money right now. The dialogue is very cringe worthy. I felt the same way also about Dear White People. 
The show Dear White People, every other word is some African American vernacular English. Ooh, girl, yes, we lit, we popping, swag, fam, um, bippity boppity boop and blamming and blooping and blippity boop. Like, bitch, why you sound like that? Like, why, why do you talk like that? Y'all are talking like you don't use any of these words in real life. Like, y'all probably don't even know any fucking descendants of American chattel slavery that talk like that in real life. Like, it's your idea of who we are because they don't know who we are. Just like I keep saying, they don't know who we are. They don't respect us. They don't respect our ethnicity. They don't respect our culture, our heritage, our history. They don't think that we're anyone. They don't know us and they don't respect us. They think they could just pretend to be us for a career, for some money, write some bullshit ass fucking dialogue of how they think we fucking talk put every nigga is a star on a jumpsuit which was corny as fuck and Easter Ray did that dumb shit you know pick up black American what they think I want to really keep saying this what they think is black American culture because even black American culture is not a fucking monolith the north is not like the south which is not like the east which is not like the midwest like even our within our culture we have fucking nuances you know i was talking to somebody in instagram dms and um now i say roast they said i can't think of the word the stick the sticks playing the dozens playing the dozens i was like where are you from she was like i'm from the midwest right so where i'm from we call it roasting where she's from they call it playing the dozens you know like even within our own culture we have fucking nuances and differences they don't know that because again they don't know us they don't know anything about us they don't respect us they think they could just move here and become us they even think they could be born here and somehow magically be descendants of american chattel slavery even though they're not being raised the same as us even motherfucking africans like fucking isa her having a parent that's senegalese and having that senegalese influence in the house and visiting senegal and things like that that has a huge influence on her it's had a huge impact on her her idea of culture and upbringing is not going to be the same as mine the foods that she grew up eating not going to be the same as mine the music she grew up listening to not going to be the same as mine because i'm not no have nothing i'm black on both sides like most deaf i'm black american on both sides i'm a descendant of american chattel slavery on both sides i'm not no half nothing i don't have no other culture nothing i can't i can't double dip yet again getting back into this idea of double dipping we are who we are they're not us they think they can become us because they don't respect us. They don't even think that we are real people. They don't even think we are a real ethnicity. And that shit comes across in these whack-ass fucking shows that they're putting on. They're whack. They're fucking whack. They're corny. Donald Glover is the best one with that first season of Atlanta. Donald Glover, to his credit, is actually a black American but Donald Glover is one of, is, is is in the same boat in terms of, oh, I'm not like the other blacks because he's a special snowflake, right? So a lot of this does boil down to like, oh, I'm different. I'm not like those other lazy black Americans. I don't want to be seen as them. I don't want to have no associations with them until this this idea of black American culture became fucking cool. Now all of a sudden you have all these people that's hopping on this wave trying to quote unquote now be us for some fucking money the Yvonne orgy bitch which was how it coincided with the DM that I got asking me to talk about Insecure did a radio interview on a radio show that shall not be motherfucking name like Voldemort talking about oh everybody you know says Nigerians look down on everyone well you know we do we do look down on everyone but really it's just because we're looking up when we look up we don't have time to think about anybody else of course bitch that's the fucking problem y'all don't think about anybody else you don't care about anybody else y'all will use and abuse your own fellow black person just to get ahead you're greedy just like that other comment I read that said that these people have the mentality of slavers and thieves. They're leeches and parasites leeching off of us and their idea of our culture, putting it on and taking it off like a coat. They have an extremely individualistic mindset just like white people, which I have a whole video on how white people push that individualism thing to a fucking fault and they are exactly the same because they're taking notes out of the white people handbook. 
which is exactly when they say to us, why can't we as black Americans pull ourselves up by our bootstraps? And why can't we just get over slavery? And we've been in this country for 500 years. Why can't we fucking do this and do that? Literal white supremacist rhetoric that they use against us, completely disregarding the fact that yes, we have been in this country for half a millennia and we've been dealing with systemic oppression in this country for half a millennia. And the white supremacist infrastructure in this country favors you as a black immigrant, as a foreign black. So you're gonna get ahead over us because you are not us, bitch. And then you think you could double dip and play us on a show, bitch. The only reason why you even on a radio show is because you're playing a motherfucking black American orgy, bitch, agent fucking orgy. These people are fucking agents. Like, they're really fucking agents. Like, I'm really even starting to think that they're worse than white people because I could look at a white person and know that a white person is fucking white. And I don't have no zero expectations of them. These people look like us. They pretend to be us. They try to infiltrate up in our spaces. But meanwhile, they don't like us. They look down on us. They don't even think we have a culture or ethnicity. They don't respect us. But they're going to make all this money off us. We're fucking Akadas, but they don't have no problem fucking taking that Akada check from pretending to be us with a whack-ass, fake-ass fucking dialogue. And then they don't see no problem with it. They don't see no problem with this individualistic mindset, which I've talked about before. They come and they fight with us over resources. They don't think nothing of it because they see themselves as these quote unquote individuals as part of a completely different nationality and ethnicity than us until it becomes convenient to, oh, we all black. Until that becomes convenient, then all of a sudden they pull that shit out their back pockets. I don't watch that bitch trash ass show. I don't watch none of them trash shows. None of them, none of them, none of them. And they ride the we all black wave so they can get support from the black Americans that they look down on that they don't even fucking respect or know anything about us or know who we are. It's sick, it's vile, it's, it's absurd. But then let a motherfucking black American try and fucking wear a dashiki to go see Black Panther and they scream in cultural appropriation. Meanwhile, they have whole careers out of pretending to be us while they look down on us. And then when you say, well, you look down on us, bitch, they say, it's not that we're looking down on you. It's just that we're looking up. You know, we think we're better than everybody. Like, and bitch, you think that's fine. Hmm, that's real interesting to me. But then when we say, okay, bitch, you and our country trying to fucking rearrange the furniture, bitch, fine. Go back home then then it's a problem, right? It's a problem. It's very interesting to me. Like, if y'all wanna watch that shit and support it just cause they're black, like, I've always, like I always say, I can't tell anybody what to do. I can't stop anybody from doing what they wanna do. But it's just like black Americans, again, need to realize like, foreigners, including foreign blacks, don't fuck with us because we are American. We are descendants of American chattel slavery. White people don't fuck with us because we are black. We are in a very unique position of having no allies, okay? In terms of collectives, are there individuals that get it? Yes, of course, as always. Not all, as y'all love to say. But in terms of collectives, these collectives not fucking with us. And black Americans are raised with this pan-Africanism ideal of we all black, so we need to support. But other people will look you in your face and be like, mm, well, hmm, I'm Nigerian and we look down on everyone and we're just trying to get ahead for ourselves. We're just trying to get our resources and send them back home. We really don't care about what's going on with y'all communities here. And then when we say, well, that's not fair, get the fuck out then. It becomes, we're all black and you're questioning our blackness, which no one is questioning y'all blackness. We're, we're talking about ethnicity. We're talking about nationality. We're talking about culture. We're talking about history. None of which affects your blackness, but does make you different from us. We are different, right? And these people are telling you who they are. Y'all need to believe them. You could keep supporting these platforms and these shows and this shit when they don't fucking respect us not one little bit. If y'all want, I can't stop you. And I totally get wanting to support people that are black. But recognize at the end of the day, these people will not have our back when it comes down to it. And that's just how I feel about that. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to read you guys some comments. I'm back. Actually, one more thing I wanted to say. And if they weren't faking... I would respect them more. I would support them more. I wouldn't have a problem. Like I've said previously, 
the, the, the thing is, we're different and it's fine. Just be yourselves. Like, our we need to find strength in the fact that we are different and it's fine. Instead of everybody trying to piggyback off of descendants of American chattel slavery, black Americans pick our shit up and put it down like a fucking cult, culture vultures. Everybody needs to just embrace themselves and their own fucking authenticity, right? Like... I liked Awkward Black Girl because that shit was Issa being herself. I don't like Insecure because this is some fake shit pandering to an audience that likes that fake shit. That fake black American caricature fucking shit. Like, be your fucking selves. I like watching fucking Idris Elba play Brits because he's a fucking Brit. That shit is cool. I mean, obviously, I also like him watching... I also like watching him play Heimdall and shit that's, like, totally fucking fictional. You know, like, that shit is cool, but, like be yourselves like stop trying to fucking be us and it's just so absurd like y'all don't fuck with us you look down on us but then you have to like pretend to be us to get on like it's weird as shit it's fucking disrespectful as fuck like just be yourselves and embrace the uniqueness of the diaspora instead of this monolithic shit so we could fucking respect you more and ride with you more like where are the shows about fucking first and second generation fucking black immigrants in america trying to deal with the culture clash where the fuck is that show that shit would be fucking interesting as fuck to watch where 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 are the shows like i said before i like british television where are the shows about the fucking black british experience y'all coming over here fucking playing us in snowfall and and in motherfucking detroit the movie detroit and 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 this and that playing us and get out and shit like that like where where are your stories where are your experiences instead of you doing this caricature of black americanness like like i keep talking about global black strongholds and like i am i'm really doing a fucking solutions video people think it's not coming but like no it is coming i have the whole shit fucking mapped out so it's just like be your fucking selves like be yourselves be yourselves and we'll be ourselves and we should all fucking embrace that we are different and it's fine and we all have our individual stories to tell instead of looking down your nose on black americans yet pretending to be us when it's convenient for some money that's disgusting it's vile and offensive you should all be ashamed of yourselves hey guys it's me seren back with another video so this video is going to be my uh travel vlogs or walking vlogs for my vacation as you guys know, I like to travel. I've done a few uh, walking vlogs before uh, in Portland and Detroit. Um, and every time I travel, I like being able, uh, in Toronto obviously, every, and every time I like to travel, um, I like to do some videos for you guys just so you guys can like see uh, what I did and where I went. Um, and so I went on vacation about two weeks ago. Every year, my family likes to take a vacation, like a big family vacation. Um, and I haven't been able to go. This is actually the first vacation I've taken in, like, real vacation that I've taken in, like, five years. Normally, I just do, like, little quick, uh, weekend trips, like, two to three days or something like that. So, uh, I was able to take a full week, um, for this vacation. And I really, really needed it. And I'm really, really glad that I did it. Um... We actually uh, took a cruise through the Caribbean, which was really nice. We did St. Kitts, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and Grand Turks and Caicos. Oh, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and hopefully you guys enjoy seeing a little bit of what we did. So here we go. I'm back. So I'm just going to jump right in and read, start reading um, comments to you guys. Um, on this whole Yvonne Orgy interview. Us black Americans gotta come together and realize that nobody cares about us, so we need to care for each other. Insecure is pretty much an African show. All the main characters are African. Every race thinks they're better than black Americans, even if they're working for them. Imagine if a black American basically said they didn't see continental Africans as on their level because they're always looking up, OMG, the feelings, but go off. Nigerians love to talk about everything except the fact that they are the African group that sold us into slavery and haven't sent a single boat to help in 400 years. African Americans are starting to see that the majority of Africans coming to the U.S. are white ass kissers and will throw us under the bus for white approval. 
To all the Africans listening to this interview, remember Black Americans made it possible for you to come to America and succeed. The Africans that come over here are the elite of their country, the 1%, and are college educated. Don't compare them to African Americans. We fought our way out of slavery and had to fight for the right to be human. We had to fight for the bullshit rights we have now with no help from any other group. No hate at all, but I find it interesting how continental Africans think Black Panther is what made us want to explore our roots when the movie was literally directed by an African-American man and the comic creator was a white American man. Plus, people have been trying to find their roots since Alex Haley, but with the invention of the internet and tracing your DNA with a test, many more people are embracing it. I've never heard African booty scratcher from anyone over 12, but a lot of the complaints from black immigrants coincide more with being an immigrant than it does being black. Like, they are on some immigrant first shit, for real. For real, for real, for real. I peeped this season one, Insecure is modern day blackface starring Africans instead of whites. I've never heard so much African American vernacular English thrown in one sentence in my life. The show is lame. Just like I said previously on how black Americans have no allies, foreign blacks are foreign, like they're immigrants. They hate us because we're American, like we're different, we're not immigrants. And then everybody else hates us because we're black, like that's it. They're so mad at us, but if we ask why do white people still control y'all resources, or why are you allowing the Chinese to do colonialism part two, electric boogaloo, or why y'all can't curb your country's government corruption, we'd be ignorant xenophobic akadas. Everyone is always talking about bridging that gap between black Americans and continental Africans, but with that mentality that she has, and if most and if is in all caps. And if most Africans think like that, it will never happen. She didn't show any respect for black Americans, just hella disrespect on a black American platform. And I replied, I was like, on a black American platform when she's only on because she's blowing up from a show where she pretends to be a black American. How are you this disrespectful? How? They've been harboring hatred towards us this whole time. They just waited for enough of them to immigrate over to buff out their chest and be bold with it. I'm pretty much over us being the chill, cool, gracious, and forgiving member of the diaspora. When you say these things while you're here, you're simultaneously ignoring our history and insulting our ancestors while reaping the benefits of our struggles and triumphs. Nah, they can go to hell with that shit. And I was like, yeah, they can go straight to hell with that. And I really mean it. They have to come here to get ahead, then talk trash. They learn that shit from the Europeans, use black Americans to get ahead, then erase them and degrade them like trash. I was like, yep, they're taking pages out the white people handbook. They have the same mindset that they like to denigrate white people for having. I don't know if it's a consequence of colonialism, but it's why African countries can't have nice things. Once people get money, they don't care about anyone but themselves. Greed and selfishness, leeching and parasitic behavior, just like white people. That's exactly how they act. They talk so much trash, but as soon as you call them African booty scratcher, they cry and want to call the police. They're as thin skinned as white people. They really are. Somebody else was like, they wear your clothes, eat your food, talk to you so they can lull us into a false sense of security, and then they turn on us. And I replied, I was like, so do we think that FBs and CAs, like Yvonne Orji, are secret agents? Like, listen to that. They wear your clothes, eat your food, talk like you so they can lull us into a false sense of security and then turn on us. That's like a sleeper cell type shit right? Just like somebody else said, they've been felt this way. They waited until they had the numbers and they feel like they have the visibility to like be truthful and say what they really think about us now after they used us. Like this Yvonne Von Orgy bitch is fucking famous from playing a black American bitch on a whole show full of, full of fucking foreigners pretending to be black Americans. But this is how they really feel. How do we feel about this? Do we feel like this is some, some secret agent sleeper cell type shit? What do we think? Do you know how irrelevant you gotta be to put on a costume and act like the people you despise? I tried watching Insecure the first season, but it was so cringe. The African-American vernacular English just doesn't flow. I refuse to believe it is Black Americans keeping this show afloat. They don't give a fuck about us as long as the check clear. But I thought they said they show so much more respect and honor than we do. 
I always call them white supremacists and black bodies. I said black white supremacist word to Dave Chappelle. And then I, I asked the question, I was like, do we feel like these type of people are secret agents? And a lot of people were like, yes, yes, I do. When she said her family doesn't watch the show, I was done. Like, girl, you just proved our whole point. Your family can't even take you acting like a black American. Please sit down. I said too much Akata behavior for them to handle, but she'll take that Akata check, though. It's like you can tell they didn't grow up around black American women. They're acting how they perceive us to act, and it's so damn corny. That show is an embodiment of stereotypes, the same ones that they scream I'm African when black Americans get accused of something negative. And I wrote back, it's definitely a caricature of how they think we act and what they think black American culture is. Can y'all see? I remember to flip it. Somebody else said, somebody else said yes to the secret agent. Yes, they're trying to link up and put us out of business they want to take over. These people are confused fans. They want to outdo African Americans, but they still need our help. My thing is, why can't you portray what you really are, which is a CA? Wouldn't that be more interesting than mimicking BA women? Oh, I know why. And I wrote back, you know why. Because ain't no money to be made. They money hungry. They money hungry. They're just trying to make some money. They're trying to make some money off our culture. They're just trying to deal in our black American cultural capital so that they could get some money and so they could get ahead. They really don't give a fuck about us. They don't care about us. They don't respect us. They don't respect our ethnicity or our culture. Seriously. People like Yvonne Orji really have a superiority complex. I was watching the interview like, girl, the nerve of you to feel superior of your tribe or whatever the fuck it is when y'all weren't superior enough to fix your own country. Y'all come over here benefiting off of black culture, black American culture, talking about be better. Oh, okay. Y'all are merely white people coming over on someone else's shit to peddle your false sense of pride in America. Girl, shut it. I was like, white people in blackface, dead ass. I really love the term second gen black in America because it is a really specific ex experience that we don't see represented. I wish Insecure was about that experience instead. I feel like this goes back to the double dipping, excuse me, the double dipping thing. Like I'm so, so proud that my grandmother trekked through Sudan with four children to escape a war torn nation. But I can't also sit here as a continental African with privilege and be like, um, why can't BAs just have a mindset of success? Those kind of statements come from a place of believing that just because you were born and raised here, you're automatically a black American, so you have a right to speak on the black American struggle as if it is your own. And it's not. Y'all don't have the same history as us. You don't have the same heritage as us. You don't have to deal with what we deal with in terms of history. Like, y'all think just because you black, and I've noticed this too, it's a lot of people that think that black American culture is some is some dances and some slang words and some struggle and some oppression. Y'all think that that's all our culture is made up of. So you think, oh, well, I struggle and I'm oppressed and I could look up some fucking words on the internet so I could be a part of that culture. That's not even having no respect. Oh, I, so I could deal in that cultural currency and capital. And that's so offensive to think that that's all we are. Like I said in my other video, y'all don't even know us. You don't even know who we are. It's really so absurd and ridiculous. And I do still have a video coming on fucking um, solutions because I have been thinking about it. And anybody that can't get with what I say in my solutions video really is not your fucking friends. Like, because there are continental Africans, just like the one in this comment, that totally get it, totally understand. So all these people acting like they don't get it are enemies. And that's really genuinely how I feel. Some 18 year old girl tried to leave one of those comments on YouTube. She was like, as an African, I just don't understand why BAs haven't accomplished more. You've been here 500 years. One, we've accomplished a hell of a lot, including including loosening immigration laws for y'all to even be here. Two, how is there no understanding of how this is literal white supremacist rhetoric? Like we've done so much for everyone and nobody fucking respects us. It's wild. And then they will sit here in our country and be like, well, what have black Americans done? Number one, bitch, the immigration laws that allowed you to even be here, we did that. Pick up a fucking book. Read a book. Somebody left me a comment on Instagram that was like, people should be forced to study black American history before they're even allowed to immigrate here. Because they'd be real loud and proud and ignorant. They'd be ignorant and proud. 
Watching her interview is so weird. Like all CAs that come here young eventually put on this black scent and act like they're down. <coughs> Kofi Sirabe, it's the funniest thing. Grew up with kids that barely spoke English and they walking around now acting like they're better than descendants of American chattel slavery while still putting on their best nigga or girl impersonation. But when they want, they can flip it and be not like the other blacks. Exactly. Ingrate, I hate that word, but at this point, that's what they all are, fucking ingrates. I think I answered the poll you posed that I think these FBs are worse than whites. Because with the whites, you know, I have zero expectations of the mayos. These so-called brothers and sisters, they betray your trust, use you, and then discard you. They're ingrates. And I agree. I kind of feel like they're worse than white people at this point, too. I could look at a white person and be like, you're white. I don't have to have any expectations. I already know you're white. I already know you're racist. Hashtag yes, all white people. I don't have no expectations of a white person except to be a racist. And no one can change my mind. These fucking people, they sneak in like secret agents, like white people in a disguise, in blackface, looking down on us, using us, using our culture, utilizing our cultural capital as black Americans specifically so that they can get ahead and leave us behind pretending pretenders, backstabbers, and then acting like, well, we're all black, we're all on the same side when they have the same mentality as white people, they're suffering from a colonized mind. But they look like us. They are scarier because of what they can do from the inside, the damage that they can inflict, seriously. Like, I've been thinking about it, like, we're gonna have to start vetting these niggas. I don't know. It's irritating as fuck because on the one hand, they like to pretend that they're us, but then on the other, people like this bitch can say in an interview, Nigerians just think they're better than everyone. Bitch, you're double dipping. Fuck off and pick a side. Pick a side. Pick a side. My friend hit me up like, who is she? Never heard of Shorty. I said, one of the leads on Insecure, a Nigerian chick playing around in BA culture. He said, oh Lord. I was like, mm-hmm, they like to get a check pretending to be us, but look down on us. He was like, I'm sharp, I already know. The diaspora as a whole has a superiority complex towards black Americans, then want to bite our shit to get on and pull the we're all black card. I wrote back in all caps, yes, exactly. We have all noticed. He was like, and that's not to say that we black Americans don't have our own shit to unpack. Of course we do, but come the fuck on. If you're going to pull the we're all black cards, let's unpack how my black and your black are not the same and why that's still the fuck okay when it's all said and done. I said, me literally, since the very first video I made, we are different. He said, our variety in the diaspora is what makes it so dope. We're different and it's fine. And I'm just gonna end right there because we all know what the deal is. And at this point, yet again, anybody that doesn't know what the deal is or is not coming around to what the deal is, they don't want to know. They don't want to learn. And they're not your friend. They're not your homie. And you're going to have to cut that bitch off. I don't know. That's all I have to say about that. Cool with that as always. Let me know if you guys want an LMA video. If not, the next video I'm gonna, I make on this is going to be solutions. All right? See you guys next time. Peace.